Hi, um, my name is Amy Dries. I'm the Composition and Literacy Faculty at Northwest State Community College uh, in Archbold, Ohio. Um, I've been there for four years now and Sakai is uh, their learning management system. So I've been in Sakai for four years and really I've come to enjoy Sakai quite a bit. The course I'm going to be talking about is uh, Philosophy 210, which is Introduction to Ethics. The fundamental teaching challenge in ethics is that it is a highly sensitive subject and we're dealing with each other online. So our very first challenge is to establish what is the object we're studying and how can we approach it while respecting the student's internal expertise. Online, I have what they say to me and the order is not indicative of their comfort with the question necessarily. I have people who will do it, that answer the question on Monday because they're Monday people. <laughs> and then I'll have question, people who will answer the question on Monday because they're excited about it. And then I'll have people who will answer the question on Friday because it's been a really busy week and they finally got around to it. So I have very little um, metadata on how this discussion is going to go online that I have automatically face to face. Because it has to be written and they have to think, they're far more likely to curb their impulse to ad hominem argument. Um, but we also have directed, here's what we do and here's what we don't do in forums. And especially in the first two weeks, I'm very careful about sending private messages to students saying, you did a great job with X, Y, and Z but i really like to see you not do um, personal discussion of people for whatever reason. Uh, and it tends to work out pretty well. So yes, it's a downside in asynchronous that it's hard to discuss and they don't want to discuss and the threading's a mess and da, 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 da. there's a lot of complaints, but you have to look at it as I can set up every single student response and every student responds to their peers in a guided way that would reflect the best possible day in my classroom. And that's what you have to think about when you go from one to the other. It still, it, it still feels like a lead balloon from time to time, but that's okay. <laughs> that's teaching. <laughs> comments that I'm most proud of are comments that say, I had to think about things that I had never thought about before and it was okay. Um, I don't get as many of those, but those are the ones that I'm really looking for because if one of the purposes of, of philosophy is to live the examined life, that's my feedback that my students have actually started the process of examination of themselves. First of all, all forums come with the same set of instructions wrapped into them. So within Sakai, I use the view extended description to have a set of forum guidelines that come with every set of questions. And those guidelines are highly structured about what time of week you're supposed to do this, what sort of answer you're supposed to give as far as length and structure, and how to respond to peers. So the very first thing is expectations are clear on the front end every single time. And it's not a, oh, you should remember this, go back to the syllabus. They have available to them right there every time they answer the question, what they should think about when answering a, a forum question. Then from there, I need to be in the forums as well with some level of direction and guidance. And for me, that is never saying, Johnny, you got the wrong answer. Here's the correct issue. It's a lot more of, Johnny, I think you and Maria really have something to talk about. Why don't you go read Maria's post and ask her about X, Y, or Z? When you build a forum, the tools you have are the questions you ask and the tone you take in your responses to others. 
using those two, two tools is enough to have a really good, rich discussion. You just have to be very patient about time and very directed in your responses. It's easy to misunderstand other people online. You have to keep the discussion flowing and topical and guided so that hurt feelings don't happen and you don't have people dropping out of the forum because they feel that they're unwanted in that space. I rubric grade all forums. It's the same rubric for every forum. I am not grading your knowledge of Socrates. For every forum, I am grading, did you engage with the question? Did you engage with your peers? And did you do this in a way that was respectful, timely, and vital to help keep the class spinning? And having that behavior grading in the rubric um, has done wonders for the kinds of forum responses and the discussions I get.